to my studio. Today we're going to be doing the candy corn candle. And we picked up some candy corn candles the other day and they were very expensive and I thought, wax, hmm, I bet I could figure this out. So we're going to do that for you today. We're going to start with uh, Brock's candy corn. And I did pick up the inexpensive one at one of the dollar stores and they are seconds so they don't have nice whole ones all the way through so it is worth your money to pick up the Brock's at Walmart or somewhere Kroger's anywhere like that right now they've got them two for three dollars so they're $1.50 a bag so that really pays off in the long run so we're gonna just dump those into our little thing and I'm going to start by gluing these on to my candle and my candle I did pick up at a dollar store just a white ivory candle I didn't have any orange ones that I could find but I really don't need a one anyway by the way we're gonna do it I also want to show you one of my new favorite things in my craft arsenal this is the Maj Paj mat and what is so great about this is you put your gun glue gun and set it on there and it just peels right off and it was so funny because I kept trying to make it work and I kept trying to pick up wax and I kept saying I have to put some on there to try and peel it off it just rolled right off it's so really wonderful so if you haven't got one of those get your 40% coupons and go check those out um, probably at Michael's or one of your craft stores like that so we're gonna start and make sure your candy cane is all the way because this one is going to show all the way through and I am going to try it with low setting with my glue gun now be very very careful when you're doing this you want to do it straight up and down because the wax actually wants to kind of slide around and you do not want that wax that hot wax sliding on to you so it really is kind of important that you keep an eye on it <clears throat> so I'm just going to glue them one at a time and what I'm doing is I'm putting them right next to the bottom so if they sat down they're flush they're not going to stick up or not be able to set down easily if they weren't longer than that so we want to keep them flush with the candle and we're going to glue these all the way around and we're going to do three rows of them i'm not going to keep you here for all three rows but i'm probably going to show you where i'm going to be a little bit short if we are you can cut the candy corn in half and use that half part so i'm going to go ahead and work and then we'll come back up after I get these almost on. On this candle, these are coming out even. You have just a little bit of space and we'll put the wax in there, so that's fine. I'm going to start my second row just in the middle in between these and go all the way around just so they're kind of sitting just on top just like that and just keep on going around with my second row. The greatest thing about this project is you get to eat the rejects. This would also be a really fun fall decoration as well, so don't think about it just for Halloween. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the next two rows and then we'll pick up from there. What's really nice is you get three little rows and the tips just barely fit over the top, but that's okay. Don't worry about the wax in the middle. Just try to remove any of the wax off of the top. And then we're going to go ahead and put wax in between. If you liked it just that way, you could leave it, um, but I want it to look like it's part of the candle, just not glued on top. So I'm going to be using my low temp melting pot and I'm going to put an orange crayon into it and it's going to take a couple of the crayons so we want to make sure you have them ready to go and we're going to be putting them into our low temp melting pot and we're going to apply them with our glass eyedropper remember when we use our glass dry dropper to only bring it about three-fourths of the way up don't get the wax up into the bulb because when it cools it hardens so we want to make sure that we don't do that so it is glass not plastic that is real important and for those project products you can find them on miriamjoy.com if you need some and so all I'm going to do now is take my 
eyedropper and I'm going to fill wax in between the candy corns. Nice and simple, right? We're just going to squish it in there. Don't worry if you get it onto the candy corn. Try and keep it off, but if you get it on, that's okay too. And we're just going to go around and fill in those cracks now and give it our candle look. Some of you may need more, some of you may need less. That's going to just kind of depend. And I'm going to go ahead and do this on all three rows and we'll come back and we'll meet back and we'll talk about the top. Just make sure when you're putting the wax in between that you allow it time to dry and so it doesn't run down if you turn it too fast and you kind of want to fill those crevices in pretty good. So once we've got all of those done, we're going to go to the top and I'm going to melt these guys first just to kind of get them so that those drips are not standing above the rest of the candle when we're done here. And this candle took me about, probably about five crayons. Orange is not one of the colors that I use the most, so I usually have leftover orange. And the other one I did with yellow orange, so you've also got that option as well. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go along the tops now. Just make sure we have all of that nice and filled in. Make sure all the wax is covered. And then we're going to finish painting the top with our Miriam Joy wax brush. We've got new improved wax brushes. I don't have one with me today. Oh, the boss is going to throw me one. These are our new improved ones. They have shorter handles so they don't fall out as easy. So they're nice and weighted. So we can just stick them in your wax. And they'll work really well. Now the brush, we're just going to dip into the wax and pick it up and we're going to spread it around the top just to get, cover up, make that look like that is all wax on the top. Don't ever go back over your wax while it's cooling. Wait till it's cool all the way because you just pick it up and ruffle it up and it doesn't want to be smooth so just wait for that to kind of get cooler and then go ahead and put that second layer on. It doesn't take a whole lot here. Alright, so we've got that done. So I'm going to melt that now. Just get that a nice even coat up on top. See if I need to put any more on top of that or not. And then I'm going to start melting it around the sides. If you have wax in an area you don't want, just take your Q-tip and remove that wax. If it is on the candy corn in the middle, you don't really want it there, just come in and remove that with your Q-tip. But we want to just smooth the wax is what we're after. You don't want to melt it a lot, just kind of smooth it out and even it all out. I'm going to take some of these off where the orange is on the yellow part of the candy corn. If you heat it too much, you're going to end up melting all your wax out, so you don't want to do that. to look like a candle and candles are not perfect but you want them to look kind of melted so I wouldn't worry about it too much try to be too exact I think it'll just start frustrating you all 
other thing I want to do is make sure that we've got all the wax covered up on top. So I'm going to put just a little bit more right where I see the wax coming through or the glue, hot glue coming through on top. Now we have used hot glue so you do not want to burn the candle. It's for decoration only. So I'm going to make sure we emphasize that. And what I would do so you can use this next year is spray varnish it really, really well. <coughs> a couple of coats and that should help keep the little critters out of it. So you can store it for next year as well. So I'm going to heat just this little part we just put on. And there is our candy corn candle. Now I took this one and I just placed it onto a glass condo holder that I found it. The Dollar Tree. I just made a bow and put a skeleton on it. You can glue it right here so it will stay on. And you may want to try that with hot glue or you could do that with E6000 and then you have your cute little candy corn candle or you could have them. I like to always have different heights so have one lower and one higher and I think that would be really really cute. So the next one I'm going to be doing is our faux candy cane, candy cane, <laughs> hopefully not, we'll get there too early enough, uh, candy corn candle. So come on over and check out and see how we do that one. And thank you for joining me today. Have a happy Halloween. And don't forget you can also use them for Thanksgiving.